Hello everyone, today we are going to create an exposed drop down menu with Jetpack Compose. So, firstly, we need the drop down state and we are going to create is expanded variable that holds our state. Double state of false. Let's import this. Oh, we also need, let's say, a gender variable that holds our genders. And it's an empty string. Let's create our exposed drop down menu box. And don't expand it, change is expanded will be equal with uh, it. Okay. Let's opt in for, let's opt in for material three. Okay. Now we can create our text field gender. On value change will be an empty string because we will change the values when uh, we are clicking on a drop down menu item. It's a read only. Okay, and let's add the trailing icon, but before let's format the code. I don't know why the shortcut uh, isn't doing his job, but I'll do it by myself. Trailing icon. Okay, it's post. The domain defaults. Trailing icon is expanded. We can also have the Pull drop down menu on default text field, text field colors and let's add the modifier to make it our menu anchor otherwise this won't work good now we can create an exposed drop down menu oops Pulse drop down menu is expanded on this menu request is expanded equals pulse and let's form the code a little bit. Okay, inside we are using a drop down menu item. The text will be um, for the first time the mail. Let's uh, add on click on um, it. Expand it equals false and the gender will be male. Okay. Let's copy this. Uh, all right, female, female. Oops. And the last one, other. Other. Okay, um, let's center this color. Maybe, okay, we need a box. It's better to use a box. Modifier, modifier, fill max size, and the content alignment. Alignment, but center. Let's run the app and see how it looks. Here is our text field, and if we click it, the drop down will appear and select one of the options. Okay, I forgot to add the placeholder, but, but you can add it by yourself. And if you like this content, follow me for more.